Dude, these people are about to go like crazy. They're like stressing so much because they don't know how to solve their solutions. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Leviathan and we are back with another reaction today. Today we are reacting to Infinity Train, episode 6, titled The Unfinished Cart. Last episode was crazy. We got to um, get a little bit of a backstory on Tulip, kind of see like where her life was and like the type of like me her good memories or the ones that she wanted to happen and then like her actual memories of like her parents fighting all the time, not really having any good like good experiences or any really good memories outside of like her family or like within her family but outside of her family she had friendships and all that other stuff um one of the uh cool things about this episode was seeing a little bit more of the lore tulip kind of gave up she left she's like screw all of this you know what i mean i, I hate this i hate this train what am i running even what am i going back to even so She's at that point where she's at a very big low. She got reminded a lot of like what exactly like was going on at home. And the fact that at like she really didn't understand why she was rushing to go home. If she was just going to rush to go home to like, I guess, trash, essentially. So that really was cool to see. Um, and we got to see the cat again, which was awesome. The cat was basically essentially the one who put her in those memories that kind of reminded her. And the cat, what the cat's agenda was, was the cat was trying to keep her there. So the robots could kind of like get her or attack or whatever, which I didn't seem to understand because the robot in the beginning was like passenger, get back to your seat. And then it ran away. So if, if it wanted to capture her, why didn't it just capture her right then and there? There's a lot of mysteries going on in the infinity train and I'm all for it. But uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Turn on notification down below so you know when I upload next and make sure you check out that Patreon for full uncut reactions of this show and many, many more like anime, movies, other TV shows, live actions, and and other sh stuff, you know? Check it out, can't hurt. But without further ado though, we're gonna get started with Infinity Train, episode six, The Unfinished Car. Let's go. I think it's safe to say we took care of that spa car. Sorry we had to bail on that salt scrub, but if we wanna get anywhere, we gotta keep moving. I'll never get my useful glow back. <sighs> We aren't going to stress ourselves out. We are going to stay positive, and we are going to take this one car at a time. When you scrub up, you lift your heart up. You got to be clean, clean, clean. First this this is called first. the unfinished now, car, so clearly it's not finished. Spikes, <laughs> mummies, uh, emotional manipulation. Whoa! Whoa, mm. neat. <laughs> I guess in the train, if there's stairs, regardless of wherever they're like positioned, you can climb up it. The Supreme Excellency, please extend your necks in adoration. Mm. Mm. I don't know what it is, but their voices are <laughs> not I good. <laughs> we can show you to the other door, but pray tell, who is your little friend dismantling our turtle totter? One one, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sure they have someone who can fix it. Some kind of licensed technician. Turtle. If this is an unfinished car, why is there even a turtle in here, to be honest? Why are there people here? <laughs> it should be, like, I guess empty or whatever, because there shouldn't be any inhabitants in it, right? Gravity turtle college car? Okay. <laughs> well, I need to get back to work. That house! There's no wall at all! So? These houses are supposed to have walls. Anyone could just walk in. Oh my gosh, I can see their saucepans. You definitely don't want to see their saucepans, man. Wash out your eyes, 1-1. One, one. Well, uh, your highness, thank you so much for taking us here. We wish you the best and... Uh, hey! 1-1! Uh, one, one. Uh, Come back! We gotta go! Ugh, fine. We know where the door is, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to stay for a little while. Fantastic! <clears throat> Now, my friend, the charter of walkies dictates Meet that back here in one hour. This brick isn't supposed to be here at all. How do you know it's not supposed to be here? It just isn't. Hmm. There's a good possibility that one one's like uh, model her robots were like the ones who ended up building the train or designing it in the first place. So he himself knows like how each train car should be structured, right? I guess. A mail delivery service is built around them. <laughs> It's fast and everybody gets something. No disappointed faces for Dude, this whole car this art is like messed up, man. It's just it's just all over the place. Hmm. 
<laughs> what are those what are those orbs, man? Do they give life to the cart? I will Thomas the tank engine was huffing and puffing when suddenly Bust my buffers! This isn't the way to the whistling woods. Write that down. Because this is the second time we're seeing them. At least. Hmm. Hmm. I guess neither of them know how long an hour is. You see? That looks like you need a key to open What's it anyway, so she won't so be able to get out of this car unless she actually uses well, the key. Yeah, I was trying to help you clean it up. <laughs> I'm gonna be late. No, 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 no. Jam pond has been dried up. No, I, I don't know why it happened. I these know. people, these turtles create jam ponds to slide on. <laughs> Have you never heard of public transportation? <laughs> Dude, these people are about to go like crazy. They're like stressing so much because they don't know how to solve their solutions. <laughs> Yes, what's going on? Uh, have you seen one one? Seen him? We're trying to stop him, but we can't reach. I think I understand one one though. Like he himself is probably part of the ones who designed this place, right? So there's a good chance that like he himself is like it's bothered by the fact that everything's like disorganized, you know? Don't you get it, you crustaceous cheapskate? I can't make a double Krabby Patty with the work. I can't put a patty on a bun with lettuce, cheese, onions, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, pickles, and top bun together in that order. Uh, uh, one, one, you have to stop! Uh, 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 what are you doing? I'm helping, Miss Tulip. I'm putting it where it's supposed to be. Why are you doing this? I have to help put things in order. It wouldn't be like this if I had just been better. Look around you. This isn't helping. How can I not try and fix it? It's my fault. Is that what you think? That it's your fault? Okay, so did the turtles, like, purposely make it like this? Or was it just like this? I don't really know. <laughs> Did the turtles come to the car first, or was the car created by the turtles? It's like a chicken or egg situation. Crazy conundrum. Responsible for fixing things that are beyond your control. Just know that I speak from experience when I say, this is not your fault. And I still want to help you, one one if you'll let me. I have no idea how she convinced <laughs> that thing to stop. I felt like one one was compelled to we do both it. Both feel terrible, don't we? Sorry. Hello, I'm one one. I know, I'm Tulip. Do we ever truly know who we are? <laughs> but with my best friends by my Yo, side. Yo, there's something one weird one. going on right now with one one. Us. Episode, great episode. Quick recap. Tulip kind of just gave up on everything, but she's still kind of going through the train. I thought she gave up, but I think she gave up obsessing over the fact of numbers. So she's like, I'm just going to go slowly and one by one kind of thing, which is good, which is good. Um, this episode was weird, man. The turtles, that shit was weird. That whole thing was weird. No wall, no doors, no walls, on, no walls on the houses. <laughs> No, um, that little hole to throw mail, the, the jab, like it was, it was all out of proportion, weird, crazy. And I think what was going on there was, okay, so you see how it says glad one and sad one? They're two different entities, so I'm thinking they're supposed to be separate. And I'm thinking those little robots are the ones who created the infinity train or they know how it should look, I guess. So when one one came to that train, he realized that somebody else was tampering it with it, like the king of the king of turtles, Ali whatever, Aliasis or some shit like that. I don't know. I'm surprised I remember that name. <laughs> Al Aloysis or, or whatever. Alasis. <laughs> anyway. Um I think they were the ones who changed everything. So that made the um, one one kind of go a little bit crazy about it, you know? Like, he, it, it was where it kind of was uh, trying to fix everything back to where it was. So there's so much lore here. There's so many mysteries that every episode keep, uh, like, I, there's so many questions that keep being asked here. Like, ever since episode, like, three, there's been so many, like, <laughs> there's been so many things that keep coming up. And I'm really getting excited for this show. Um, excited to see how far we get more into it. There's about four more episodes of Tulip's journey. We'll see what happens in season two with another character, but we're almost uh, onto a close of her journey. So four more episodes and we're about to see what happens on the Infinity Train. 
But um, with that, I think I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys all for your support. It's been awesome. It's been great. And I will see you guys around. Peace. Bye.